Are you ready? Hi Andy and Love uh, their smiley faces and whatnot. Bring it into the game as well. Very bubbly, you know, I know DMZ for sure. He's always chatting in lobbies. Uh, what, I remember a couple of years ago going to uh, going to an event uh, that he was playing at, and you know, he, he was all you know, he's chatting to everyone. Doesn't matter what team they're on. Doesn't speak their language. Doesn't care. You know, he was, he was talking to Illidan. You know, talking to the Russian players. Yeah, they're speaking Russian. He's like, yes, yes, I understand exactly what you're saying. You know. Or was it him just trying to get a team? Like, hey guys, I'm DMZ. I no, play uh, position four. <laughs> uh, no, I think he was just being a bit cheeky. You know, trying to get some information, trying to Man. trying to find out yeah. their their drafts and intel and stuff like oh. that. That's what you like to see. That's what we don't get. A bit with of espionage. Like is, yeah, we don't get the espionage that we do at lands. <laughs> don't get do espionage. The accidental. Yeah. Sorry, I walked into the wrong player room. Oh, what's that on the whiteboard? Oh, is that a hero whoops. list? Oh, my bad. <laughs> to be clear, oh, yeah, that no, happened, I... guys, before anyone gets carried away. It has happened, though. Has it, it has happened. Uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, not aware of it happening. So it, there, there was a big drama. I think it was TI3. There was a there was a Chinese. Um, it wasn't a team. It was a Chinese like uh, website doing journalism and articles and stuff. And they they walked yeah. into a, a team's player lounge and you know, kind of shared draft information with uh, with some of the teams and stuff like oh. that. It's, it's it's happened at a couple of events. You know, usually it's usually it's by accident, but there have been a couple where people have snuck in. Yeah, we had that actually at TI9 when we were boot camping at Newbies facility and we had all our like draft stuff on the, on the whiteboard and they wanted to do some content. And like the players were like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm like, lads, you're about to play in TI. Can we just like maybe remove this from the whiteboard real quick whilst they're like doing their content? <laughs> so we had to like quickly scribble it off before they uh, wipe it off. Sorry, before they... Just hide it for a second. Exactly. Just, oh, uh... DNZ is really bullying this Venge. Yeah. Uh, that's the other thing as well, that just the, the early fight came into play. I think when Spider Pigs played up against Live to Win the other day, DMZ just got first blooded by an Enchantress trying to make the exact same play. The difference is there was an Alpha Wolf uh, helping out Seneko. Yeah, okay, so he doesn't have this uh, this wolf to assist him. No, he has a wave of terror. I'm not going to accomplish too much. <laughs> no, he's not. A what, what, what's, what, what's the range? Attack range 575 on the Grim and then 400 on the Venge. So you're not even going to get close. Venge is one of the worst position fives to try and initiate in the uh, the trades because again you have to get so close that you suddenly are in Inkswell range or the blood right just comes in, kill off his curry. He wants to try and guard that pull he's made. Oh, big CS from Venge. That's why we like to bring in the coach. Misha couldn't do this, but OKC okay, can. A huge wave of terror. Fight. Yeah, they take some it. massive damage though. Trying to stack really that cam. Casual so far, yeah. And that mid lane monkey against the void spirit. Void is ten and one. Monkey's got six denies though, and a full wave coming into him. So it looks like Supremes had a pretty good run of things. But Noob's been on that tightrope, really playing on the edge of these stacks. I don't think he's really allowed Supreme to get too many of the four stacks up. Yeah, the key thing about this mid lane matchup is the void spirit with the resonant pulse can secure CS, but he can't get deep enough into the wave to start battling for denies as we see here. And that's why you see him currently with eleven CS and then not able to match the, the denies of Monkey King. He tried to go does drag him in for yeah one tower hit comes that's one more than done. none gareth that is it's a small things maths. in lane thank Denied. you british education yeah. what can i say <laughs> have you got your gcse's mate i got my a levels too and my degree oh, not trying to flex huge. Anything, but what's your what's your degree in uh computing for robotic system first class honors wow i thought i'd just drop big brain yeah i then put it into a shelf and then uh, started coaching chaos. So the biggest waste of money that I've ever <laughs> had in my life. Yeah, can confirm. I say well, that. At least you, at least you got one. Plan. Oh, well, yeah. If, uh, well, I'm sorry, I say if. You know, when esports fails for me, I will be able to use my degree and maybe get a job. Oh, DNZ is going to get jumped on. Blood is going to try. Oh, he's got Fairy Fire. Turns with Inkswell onto Morphling. Attribute shift into Strength. I do hit the stun onto both. Charlie just gets one whack on a little courier there as it does come through. I keep the Grim alive though, and still no first blood spilled. Such a slow start to the game. 
Sableye's gonna get a courier. Oh. Been slain. Does that count as a first? Why is Sableye there? What's he up to? He was he getting was, a creep, yeah, I guess. He was looking for the ogre. Was, yeah, he was looking for a cheeky little ogre. Mm. That's gonna be really helpful against this Void Magnus. Like, pause five Magnus in this lane. Thug, now 18 and 1, doing all right. But against Lena and the Doom, now they've hit level 3, it's gonna be a, a real onslaught. The interesting thing here is the position of the ward that Dyer plays. They wanted to see both these camps that the Ogre can support and to be able to actually day. grab that armor straight away if they see it. So a nice little kind of support gameplay to enable the offlane there. Yeah, like the preemptive. Done up top on Mitch. He's got a decent amount of move speed though. He's gonna chase back the Venge. And mid lane, we, do, we did have the TP from DNZ coming in to try and save Noob. It looked like Supreme. Did get a lot of damage into him and empty bottle time oh, for that poor Void Spirit now. He's denying the ward. Oh, that is like the worst feeling. Like you place the ward or your sentry you go to D ward and the other guy's already chunking it down for the night. Like, God damn. <laughs> Why did I do it so please Let me. Please let me get it. And meanwhile, Mitch was just kind of farming up under the tower anyway. So no real kind of loss for the offlane. I think right now a little bit of aggression might come out, but Realistically, perfectly fine. Right. Right. Bounce you in for the Venge. I'm trying to defend it here with Mitch and DNZ. Going forward with the Inkswell, but that magic missile is going to stop him in his tracks. Mitch is still chasing that movement speed. He's racing so forward, but first blood supreme killing move, and then top lane. Thanks they do the take down fun. the trade with Oxia and DNZ. Going one for one there. And what does that mid lane supreme just goes on the Void Spirit? Unfortunately, when uh, yeah, Noob didn't get his bottle refilled when DNZ came in the. I, I believe. So it also kind of led to him not having the resources to play mid. So it just kind of a unfortunate action, actually. I was expecting it to be a little bit more capable by the base, but Supreme just identifying the weakness of Voice Brick in a pre level six and capitalizing on that. Very good. And this is what NIP yeah, needs to do, uh... right? They need to be able to have that strong start, and this Monkey King needs to be able to pivot into the side lanes. I mentioned how Noob likes to do that a lot, but Monkey King as a hero can also do. I'd like to see that, especially uh, unlock the games of uh, Demon Morphin. Oscu are back. LeBron puts Zero under tower, and the bashes are there from Thug. Light Striker is going to catch both of them, though. And it looks like Lena with Arcane Boots is fast enough just to walk on out. I summon, man. Sign up. It's huge. I think Thug has bought like three or four cells or something. Yeah, two, two, two and a half thousand net worth, even though he's got pretty decent CS. In this early laning stage, as Mitch clears up the Venge, a little bit out of position, a bit forward there. DNZ. Also, I want to make it very Down clear. The Bloodseeker. Uh, Gareth, you are not allowed to say, OK, see ya, Venge, you know, like that type of pun, all right? You're not allowed to make any of those puns playing in the game, OK? OK. Thank you. Just in case you I won't. I know you wouldn't, but I'm just bringing it to life. I wouldn't dare. Here, here <laughs> is that monkey rotating, though. You, call, you called for it. He's level 7, and he's going to make that early rotation top. Trouble is, it's into a morphing lane. So rupture onto the monkey king, and Mitch just you know, waves his hand and says, all right, <laughs> nice, nice one, mate. Blood Rite's going to come through. And now Supreme's wasted a ton of time coming top without getting anything in return. But look at Noob. He's waddling up. He's like, oh, this is my time. Minute 6 to 8 or 7. I said it. Happens every time. Going yep. And this is the and got the swell. Oh, oh it's really it. nice. Strength attribute. Go on. Shift it. More fling. He's tanky enough. Actually gets himself back to his tier one thanks to the wand. Mitch is still hunting though. Like, look at Monk Supreme on oh, the Monkey King is still here, lurking in the trees. Oh, the blood right with oh. the nice oh. little stroke of fate. But he's out of there. He's gone already back to fountain. Spider pigs chasing the ventral spirit now, but era's rotation, magic missile, connect the stuns, chain it up. But they're just lacking a bit of damage, it feels like, as Monkey King's focusing the uh, Grimstroke off on the other side, and that blood right clears him up. Difficult here for NIP to stick on a target as Mitch is a slippery devil just sprinting around all the place. I've got another blood right. Is Mitch still going for this? Oh, he's hungry. The void spirit's still there, so why the hell not? Tasty. Diving behind. Yeah. Between tier one and tier two. Yeah, so initially I thought Supreme kind attack. of staying up for a little bit longer. I was like, all right, this is pretty smart. You know, the rotation in, the rupture, you hug the trees and go for the blade. But when Charlie, attack. your carry, automatically has to say, dip out of the engagement, it was a bit interesting seeing Supreme look for that engagement once again. And Mitch, Dyer's top the tanky boy, should attack. be all right there, Chief, right? Maybe, we got a wand. He's got a backup. There we go. The NC right. slows him down. He's fine, yeah. He's, he's top of net worth as well, 4,000. Doom has just overtaken him. 
And these are the type of moves that Spider Pigs they kind of needed to make just to, you know, at least unlock Noob's game because of the pressure he had. And also, again, first blooded in the mid lane just gives Monkey his free game. So, Cream trying to really push his limits and try, try and make the most out of the map, but unfortunately, is kind of a shortcoming thing. But I'm worth so yeah, much. Where's that more. monkey heading now? Here we go. Active. Here he had a bit of hesitation there. He's like, do I go bottom here? Do I go back to mid? I think Ira is probably giving him the shout saying, nah, I'm, I'm sitting mid. I'm going to get my level six. I'll clear the wave out. Don't worry. You I'm go play into now. Saberlight's Doom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I am the mid leaner. Oh, they oh, tried it. Oh. He lifted his arms for the Doom, didn't he? Oh, he did. They were, they were pretty raised, if anything. I don't know the angle to be specific, but they were up. Dyer's middle and then tower down. 30 degrees? Attack. Yeah, yeah, I'd say yeah, at least like, yeah, around 30, 33. It sounds pretty strong. Look at the backstab coming in from Spider Pigs. Dyer's Ward goes up. They've got a sentry there to D Ward. To yeah, it's vision from the Dyer team, so I'm not going to be able to wrap around into these heroes. You can see NIP responding. The trio moving across. DNZ, have you stuck around a little bit too long here? All right. The Apparently, thing runes to are that. coming. If you're looking at this Monkey King and the moves he's making, he, it's not as if he's like under farm though, right? He's still My top four in the course, yes. Or oh, net worth, sorry. The Doom Offend. is just having a completely free game. Well, yeah, she stunned the Bloodseeker, took the bounty rune, TP'd out on like 10 HP. And now they make the jump in onto Supreme. Right. Lena, or oh, is Ira in trouble? Ether Remnant catches. All right, take him no back. more spells for DNZ though. He's not now not top uh, four, he just died. Tragic. I saw Mitch. Mitch has been real aggressive here. Rupt around Blood right out. Light Strike Ray, but in comes the Soulbind. DNZ walks into the middle of both of them for that ink swell. Doesn't connect on the Lena, but it doesn't matter. Era still will fall. And Sableite left to his own devices now just to hold on and defend this tier one. Spider Pigs with some kind of brute force aggression running across the map, finding these pickoffs. Well, NIP are struggling for space. But when you say struggling for space, I still feel like they're not kind of under too much pressure here because you have this Doom, top net worth, kind of passive farming up with the four points in Devour. This entire time, Charlie's now been uncontested. There's not really any top lane pressure right now. And all the Spider Pigs rotations, they need to kills, but it's not really kind of map present because of their aggression. They haven't made a lot of stacks other than the ones in the top side of the map. So I am mm. happy that they've been able to find some stacks to make. And it will be kind of like this insurance policy for the boy who hasn't had the best start because he doesn't really have kill potential. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's doubles. I've just got that feeling, you know, the, the unnerving feeling that this Monkey King hasn't really done too much coming out of the laning stage, but they do make the move, but out they go. Spider Pigs retreating. Sableite, now the Chrono from Thug onto three. Swap back, Supreme's gonna get a bounce strike in and a kill off the Magnus. DNZ's come though. Sansa's up the monkey and they only lose one. That was a, a good commitment from NIP. Doom and Chrono down. They only get the pos five Magnus though. Radiance middle tower is under attack. That wasn't that, that great. I think the indecision from uh, Saberlight once again with his doom, he's just a little bit too scared to use it. Of course, in that scenario there, if he uses it later, then the void is already jumped. Then, of course, he's disconnected Radiance himself from that doom target. Under but attack. The fact that we're seeing these rotations coming nip and so they're not finding the, the, the quick kills. But again, like I'm not seeing an Radiance issue in terms of net worth. Doom and Morphling fast. are up on top. They are passive to get in the god that they need. The issue is the... Uh, the earlier team timings from Spider Pigs Dyer's that you kind of want to offset from some early pick of the team. You're not really seeing. Tower. So Spider Pigs, even the equal net worth, will have a much happier time entrance and engagement. Like Void Spirit with the Yule, DNZ going for the Veil, like they're ready for these quick skirmishes. I just see two fights breaking out. Yeah, Avenge down, Era gone. Lena found by the Void in behind that tier one. Spider Pigs, they bring numbers top. But yeah, tying into what you're saying, you know, look at the rest of the map. Doom is mid lane, farming. Pushing out, Morphling has got a tier one. He's clearing out creep waves, so they are keeping tabs on. It's not worth on their bigger heroes. Like what I'm gonna see now from Spider Pig, take top tower, Doug might farm next wave. He's gonna grab power from LeBron, retreat back into his jungle and farm up these uh, these stacks that have been made, specifically the ancient stacks. They go a little cheeky little triple there. Two thunder hides and a granite. So sad actually. What his face? So upset. Of course, he just his life is just vibe, and then eventually he could die to a carry. 
Rich, yeah. Maybe next patch we can petition him to be smiling. He's happy the patch can't. Oh no. I'm, I'm showcase watching this guy. Sad <laughs> and bashed. Oh no. You know that's... what the face reminds me of? Do you know uh, Hitchhiker's Guide, the movie, with the Vogons? It looks, it looks like a Vogon made of stone. Just like sad, depressed, doesn't care about the world. Oh my, I just did a swift googling. Ancient Vogon golem. <laughs> Thank God Google exists. We're never going to have to do that in a live cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, home broadcasting. Google whatever you want. Yeah. How Need to a, do casting. A minute's pause there for it spider really does pigs. help sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got Dota open, Dota buff open, you've got anything you need at your well, fingertips. Normally you have to have like a cheeky tablet in front of you. At home you've got many screens. I say that's just two. But... I'd be lucky to have a tablet back in my day. We'd have you know, notebooks with pen and paper, mate. To be fair though, to I, did write use, everything down. I did use pen and paper for Omega. I'm just chatting. I'm, I'm having aspirations of owning a tablet, you know? <laughs> Please. I see the cool kids with the tablets and I'm just there with like my, my notebook like, oh. One day I'll be good enough. That's, that's what TOs need to do. TOs need, you know, tablet sponsorship. Get that Lenovo or Microsoft sponsorship. Get, get, get us really? some tablets out there. Charlie Morfling, what are we up to? Morbid Mask, Manta style coming. So no uh, no early E-Blade or anything like that. He's going much, for the, uh, much more for the right click, actual stand and face the carry of the void kind of build. That's primarily due to the lack of uh, frontline that they have on NIP when they look towards Dyer's objectives. Uh, they've been kind attack. of morphling, chunking no it down. And if you go for an eBay blades. build, it doesn't really allow oh, you to have smoke. that smoke. They found that Lena, haven't they? Oh my goodness. Here, I didn't see that one coming, but in comes Sableye, and they skewered him back, but they've already doomed up the Void. A quick rupture and an RP as LeBron catches the Doom, but killing NIP swapped back, the Soulbind is there as Charlie's on a killing spree. The Morphling is backstabbing, taking them down, and looking for the Faceless Void, but he won't get him. Turns into him, though, and Charlie time walks back up to high ground. Mitch and Noob still looking to battle around this mid-tier one. They've got the Yules up, Ether Remnant there, and the Blood Right to silence him. Swap back. Is it going to do enough? Gets in the Distance, but the Chrono arrives. Now they can focus down the Charlie Morphling, and he's gone. Fog with a double kill as he gets the Venge off the back of it. And NIP, it looked like they'd managed to disengage out of the out of the bad fight that started off there, but Spider Pig just kept on going. Yeah, they just want to look for these fights, and oh god, the cuteness of that play where he had the double A for Remnant on the voice for it. One for the Venge and one for the Morphling, as Noob just falls victim to uh, over aggression and dying. Obliterated. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's a, that's probably the better way of wording it. But Spider Pigs, they're, they're, they're happy with these type of engagements, especially because right now with Nip, right? If Doom, you know, connects on a target, what's the follow up? An LSA, a Venge stun, a monkey. Like, there's no real kind of continued lockdown to stop that hero from running away, or at least drawing in NIP to an area of the fight where Spider Pigs can then overwhelm the fight, right? And that's what we saw. The Void got uh, doomed, he retreated to his Magnus, suddenly we then have the RP. Then we have the Soulbind on top, Bloodseeker can layer into his damage. Like, that's where the concern for NIP comes Also, do you call like do you call it LSA? Or like what's, what's your, your term? Because I saw... Oh, wait, hold I, on. I go for LSA. All right, Doom's gonna yeah, I mean, Doom, Doom's pretty dead there, him. right? There's four heroes surrounding him. <laughs> I, 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 I go for the LSA. With, yeah, Crit in, in Twitch, he was uh, critiquing Tsunami, who was doing an interview with a player, and he said, Tsunami, uh, please don't call it LSA. Like, is Why? there an alternative? Dyer's middle and tower light strike array, it's just a bit of a mouthful. I mean, it's only yeah. one more syllable, Dyer's right? Like, light strike array is one more syllable. That, 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 that's time saved. That's one syllable Dyer's saved. That's true. Tower has fallen. Yeah. Although I did, I did hear someone, I heard someone the other week calling it lightning strike array, and that oh. really tickled me. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> Adding more control. syllables to it. So yeah, I feel like... <laughs> If anyone wants to try and do any suggestions fast. for the uh, how not to say light strike away, Lena <laughs> stun. <laughs> Lena stun. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. That's what you we go back to in the moment. Oh, thug. The spell name. Oh. Oh, Supreme misses the boundless strike. He was falling off the tree with his Wukongs, but they've got a stomp. Sableye's initiated. Getting caught out here by. A uh, quick little move in from Mitch, though, as they do pick off DNZ, but they're losing that Doom quickly. Light Strike Array does catch Mitch as the RP. Looking to pick off Supreme in the back, but a swap out. And then we have the Venge, saving the monkey once more. 
One for one so far. They'll lose their venge though as their that spirit vessel ticks him down. And Bloodseeker sent skywards by your scepter that Ira's actually managed to pick up. A pretty farmed Lena here. But there's a rupture again. Blood, right? And Mitch is just diving at the towers as he's been doing for the past 17 minutes. Another spirit vessel charged, stunned back by the adaptive strike. Charlie, though, eats the remnant into the skewer and they take him down. LeBron's going to trade himself out, though, as the Morphling still able to stand his ground. He can't really do too much against him. I can't go more, can they? Oh, they can. Supreme, he's overextended. Chrono's come out. Thog's on top of him. There's no backup. Now there's no swap, and he's dead. I must forgive you for being only what you are. These fights are messy, scrappy affairs. Radiant's bottom tower is being And it plays fast. into Spy or Spider Pig's run, run, right? Like, how does Nip take any of these fights? You saw that top engagement. The Monkey King's trying to make the big play, right? The Wu Kong into instant stun, and Venge will then swap stun on top of that in the hope to blow up a void. But it's such a, like, that, that type of engagement, that like, fight, it takes, like, the perfect execution. You're going to hit it probably one out of ten times the exact way that they tried it. They failed it, and the spider pig's like, all right, cool. Let's just fight then. Let's go for it. And they're just really utilizing their heroes. I think the downside for that engagement was simply the Grimstroke's positioning. He died at the start of the fight, unable to use Soulbind. That could have easily been two, three more kills on the side of spider pigs, but because of DNZ dying, oh. they weren't able to capitalize on it. So they have this. They've ruptured Saberlight. Nah, not diving this time. I don't think... NIP's position very strong. Yeah, I think Mitch, when he ruptures him, he looks to, to his right and sees LeBron. Like, hey, mate. Hi, Mitch. I'm LeBron. They say, like, why are you here? I want my, my void or my void spirit. Where's my void spirit? I want someone yeah. real. And it's like, oh, okay. Taking the power. Bye. <laughs> I have tranquil boots, which I'm not Yay. using. Come on, LeBron. Dig up a bounty rune for us, will oh, you? There you go, yeah. Bounty. bounty rune? No, oh, the worst. it's the second version Stinky. of bounty rune. That's six gold. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Like, all right. Because well, you get money you from it. A... Yeah. It's yeah. It's like I would. I would rather anything. It's the B Tech bounty rune. There you go. Any about <laughs> the B Tech. Know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so are you are studying bounty runes or cobalts? <laughs> Jeez. Again, 11 people understand that, but that's all I care about. It's funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, what's the equivalent? How do you explain that to like Americans or other Europeans? You can't, like, can you? <laughs> no, because like, it's... What, what do they have? They have high school, then they have college, and then after college it's university, right? Is that how that, that Kinda, system? yeah. So like for... But like usually, usually college is like sixth, our sixth form, exactly. but then between sixth form and yeah. So for us... I don't know. Just for, you know, it doesn't matter. Education it doesn't matter. Are, There's a Greaves on a Bloodseeker, hey? Mitch is incredibly strong right yeah, now. Yeah, Spirit boy. Vessel, Greaves, Essence Ring. Like he's got so much healing. And then Void as well. Like look at his itemization. He goes for Mask of Madness, instantly BKB, then goes back for the Yasha. Like he's looking for these early fights, utilizes the Empower, gets the quick kind of tanky item, and then he's going to look for damage after. Attack. And it just allows him to really put the pressure up into NIP. And Chrono's ready at the same time that NIP want to fight because they've got BKB on Doom now. Blink BKB, War Stomp. Fast. Monkey King does have Deso, so he's able to output. A decent amount of damage alongside this Morphling with Manta, and yeah, he is going back into E-Blade, but Monkey King is going to face tank it. They jump onto DNZ, but there's the Chrono. Swap back, gets Monkey out, but he's still ruptured up, but they're going to RP Sabrelight. Two ulties to take out the Doom. Wukong's Commander will arrive now, but Spider Pig's just going to try and take him down before they do too much damage to them. But uh, Laguna Blade there onto Mitch, really counteracted by that Greaves and Spirit Vessel, even has the Essence Ring to back him up, and they've killed off three heroes in quick succession, while Charlie is in the Roche Pit, TPing home. Safe. It's TP top actually. Spider pigs are just. Do they go on him? Which my matriarch would pride. Nah, it, mate, just having a look, mate. Vibing out. And they're not going to be able to get. But again, like, for me, I saw that engagement. I'm like, alright, there you go. We got a BKB on Saberlight. This is the time. He's going to blink in, get that perfect, you know, doom off, and then maybe they fight around it. He just blinks in, um, gets Chrono, doesn't he? bit rough bit it didn't even bkb no bright side he's got a 10 second bkb t oh that is cheeky isn't it that's 10 seconds that is let's go for yeah. another smoke oh, come on yeah, ben you know what if you make a mistake let's try it again you can't make two mistakes in a row right that's that's impossible did you learn from them
But it, it is a thing, right? No RP, no chrono, rupture, and uh, I guess Soulbind is down. It, it is a time here for NIP, a window that this they could the maybe go for. Yeah, thanks for going, uh, giving us a serious answer. That is the perfect time to fight for them. And uh, when you look across the cores on NOP, they are slowly getting to that point of uh, scary because you have this BKB on Doom, soon he blade on Morphling after the Manta, BKB, you know, 2 3k away from. Now, if this engagement goes just... south, then it. A very difficult game but if they win it then suddenly they can become like unkillable in these like skirmishy type fights because... spider pig is well aware of this you know, they the farm out a couple of their camps in the triangle shortly. and then they're just round the mid tier one they're all grouped up together all holding hands and making sure that there is no opportunity for nip to strike while those cooldowns aren't available for them this is a product of the vision though because if you look at the dire vision they control the entire top jungle and Bottom side, straight in, see literally nothing Good stomp. They cast the Void Spirit and nearly blow him off. There's the Dragon Slave to finish him off. Noob is down. They've also spent Soulbind here. No team fight. Uh, very aggressive. Yeah. yeah. That just wasn't... Interesting, Noob. Very aggressive. Maybe he thought he could go in, scout it out, but Saberlight was very quick, right? With that Blink War stomp. Is under nice attack. to see Saberlight Trying to defend a bit more confidence though. in his spell usage. Oh. Oh. He tried it. He in comes LeBron. There's the BKB and the Doom. But the Void got his BKB off. I'll see if the Monkey King can chase him down fast enough. Because the Rupture Doom definitely can't. They do use up the Bloodseeker. Again, though, this Mitch Bloodseeker. Oh, my God. Where did he go? I was going to say he was tanky, but bloody hell he wasn't. He's not, mate. He doesn't have any magic resistance. You have the E-Blade. Then you have the Laguna Blade. It's a lot of damage. And spider pigs. That's a lot of blades. That's a lot of blades. That is a complete kitchen set, but... Now spider pigs are kind of feeling like, well, this was our game. This is going to look really good. Hey, they've got Infernal Blade as well. If they actually have three blades. No, that's too many. That, that's just not allowed. No, you need you need you need your chef's knife. You need a paring knife. You need you know uh, a, a nice little uh, you know meat knife as well. They've, oh, they've got Noob again. Oh God, dissimulate. Try and get himself away. Astral step to the high ground and a second one to create that gap. Consider your worth. Jeez. Well, this is where the NIP strength comes. They just blow people completely off the face of the map. But they've not got Roshan. No. And now Spider Pigs have all their spells up again. BKB up on Void and 10. They're going to start pressuring out the engagement. But they can, like, die. They have all the vision advantage around this pit. Spider Pigs is really not utilizing the, the vision game to help himself out. Oh, got Wukong's so in comes Saberlight. Blink War Stomp again. BKB's popped and Rochan's nearly dead. They chrono and they're trying to focus Rochan and Team Fight as well. But they've lost Supreme and Noob has also fallen as the Faceless Void gets Age of the Immortal as the RP Skewer. LeBron's pretty much caught them all. This Pots 5 Magnus bringing NIP down, forcing Charlie Nero to both retreat. But Mitch is speedy. He's given chase. On to Eerie, he'll go with an Ink Swell as well. Finding Lena and a double kill for DNZ. And it's all down to Charlie to try and walk this one off. But I I don't think he can. He'll E-Blade, but he's got no mana left. Actually, he's going to get Wand and Tread Switching, so he's got the waveform off to the right, but he's surrounded. LeBron's fake pumping skewer, stamping his feet on the ground. An NIP around that Roshan fight. I mean, they, they pop the Aegis almost immediately, but it's still looking good for Spider Pigs. I will say, though, it, it does look good when Spider Pigs have their spells. They're able to convert the fight, right? Time Especially when the Doom money. isn't available to take away the, the void. But that engagement, Thug, inside the pit, chipping away at Roshan, Saber Light Connect. He pop, lays down the Corona to secure the, the Aegis. Guess what little old Noob does? Attack. He astral steps into the Corona at the exact same time. So unfortunately, we didn't get to see the voice for it in that engagement. But once again, in the last two free fights, Spider Pigs have had a little bit of a kind of, a lack of kind of communication or at least synergy across the team where they are kind of getting picked off or at least it's not hitting that kind of that rhythm of we go to an objective we secure it this way and luckily i think they're cushioned by how many spells that they have in these fights but these might type of mistakes you can't keep making oh, no. yeah an era just a freebie in the mid lane Sableite has come in to re-engage trying to get the doom up onto noob and he's popped his bkb as well there's a soul bind there but noob being healed up decently by mitch as supreme comes in thug's also taken down the venge in the back though as this faceless void with inkswell on him just charges past the tier two quick e blade the heals from mitch not enough to secure his life through that and charlie into void mode running forward as lebron does skewer back Sableite. Down to DNZ and Thug to do the damage which they are lacking right now. They don't have Chrono for 30 seconds. All right. And NIP are just chasing him. Oh, Glimmer Cape, Wall Stomp, gonna get dodged out. DNZ, can he get high ground before? No, he's spotted. He's spotted. Inkswell into what? Run away. 
fade from me. Oh, just talking about the engagements the and uh, that happens again. Oof. Rough. Truly rough stuff from uh, Spider Pigs. They, they're looking towards just like that clean execution right now, right? Like they have to hit the Chrono, lay it with the blood rate, but when you look at the type of damage that they have inside Chrono, early on they have quite nice spells, but once you get past the 25 minute mark, they don't really have that clean level of damage. Right? It's not like a snapfire roll, an egg, or a, a, a witch doctor ultimate, right? Like it very much cheaper fight damage. And right now they're kind of feeling that when they. Uh, when they start out these fights, especially Sableye, like, now that he's got kind of the confidence to apply his doom, if he takes away the Void Spirit or even the Void, like the fights are a lot easier. Especially that fight, that was a... Morphling was dead, like two were dead at the start of that fight, they respawn, enter the fight later on, and uh, because they had to taken away the key components, it allowed Nip to have that strong rebuttal. This game is so back and forth though, T. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely can't believe it's... You know, the, the net worth lead has never really spiked above 3k and spider pigs holding on to about a 1000 net worth lead right now faceless void with lebron backing him up top that blink on the plus five magnus you know it's, it's paid off decently they've had a big blink rp they've had some nice blink skewers but it, it can be rough you know like you're saying kind of layering I, I, I like that term i'm gonna use it a bit more Lay, layering their abilities into these fights with chrono and rp you know going uh, you know on edge against each other somewhat in terms of what they meant to do and now we see that timing from Nick where they have the bkb on the monkey king got soon scardy on morphling as well the, the doom well on his way to shiva's like this tankiness is really going to play well into the nip where they they fell victim to, to the early fights but because of spider pig positioning and some of the pickups that they gave resources they kind of allowed nip to, to utilize but i think they're kind of feeling a little bit kind of pressured right now look you see this kind of hail mary top siege Oh, if they kill the Void, they've got an RP onto the Doom, though. He did get the Doom onto the Faceless Void. Monkey King just jumps forward. This is NIP defending their base with aggression. Sprinting in. Void Spirit's going to jump out of the Wukongs. NIP resetting with Glimmers. Back to the high ground. The Monkey will jump up onto the treetops. It did feel, you know, maybe not desperate, but definitely a, a hand being forced there for Spider Pigs to go up onto high ground. Well, I think it's because they just look at what they have in, in the toolkit right now spider pigs and they're looking for the fight right now like they don't have this ability to Dyer's pause the game and wait for attack. another damage item to come out they're, they're currently at the tail end of their their kind of big power spike and when nips suddenly get to this the triple bkb or double bkb scardy plus like uh shiva's timing i'm really going to be concerned at how spider pigs are going to take a fight outside of that perfect pick off because not only that you are playing into you're going to be always one hero down with that doom connecting as well so spider mm. pigs they, they really did kind of miss their key window we're looking at probably 25 minutes secure aegis and pressure but because of how nip contested that it gave them a new lease of life and was able to bridge the gap of their underwhelming entry to the game and a telescope on the Vengeful Spirit too. You're talking about being one hero down with Dyer's Doom, but it's also the fact that if you do commit no onto you know, the Morphling or the Monkey King, that swap from Dyer's such a long range is going to make you overcommit and maybe overstep your bounds. Dyer's and Spider Pigs do come high ground again. They've shoved in that mid wave to allow them easy access to the top tier three. They have chipped away a little bit at it. Doom on cooldown for 45 seconds. Attempted swap into uh, War Stomp there. Cheeky little attempt from OKC and Sabreline, but the Ventral Spirit's gonna pay for it. Uh, Yule's up though, White Strike Array onto Thug. He doesn't have BKB anymore, so committing onto this Faceless yeah, Void looks pretty good for NIP. Laguna Blade, but he time walks it off. Now the Chrono comes in and they've tried to focus the more five man. but here's the problem. They are lacking damage. It is a five man, but he's caught the majority of his team. Blood Rite's gonna arrive now, but DNZ and LeBron, they're down. Spider Pig's full retreat because NIP, they're cruising in this fight. Can they jump any more? Sabreline wants to make the move. Ether Remnant catches him on his way through though. Charlie into Void Mode jumps in. He tries to get off the time dilation to slow them with the time walks in. But Thug and Noob, they have made a nice bit of a gap here between them and the Dire Heroes. Ether Remnant's holding them back. Supreme just leaping across the canopy, tree to tree, trying to find Thug and Noob. But now it's Supreme who has to pose BKB. Double buyback and an RP coming in from LeBron and Monkey King. He's being caught out. Over aggression from NIP this time around. Supreme and Sabreline, they're both down. That was a really great double buyback from the supports, instantly punishing the overaggression from Nip, but... Oof, spell usage from Spider Pigs, a little bit questionable, but 
again, luckily that double support buyback, saving the day. Guess what, lads? Run it down mid. Let's go. Round three of the high ground. And this should just be a free Rax, right? Like, you don't have Wukong to defend. You don't have the Doom. Like, these are key are under components in taking these Where fights. Are their allies? This is probably the weirdest way that I've ever seen a team take a Rax in the, in 2020, Dyer's I think. Yeah. This is... Guys, what, what, uh, yeah, fucking cool. Nice. Really Good quite on. Yeah, I've have slipped into never seen a, a five-man Corona have such a positive effect on your team <laughs> when it was your own team hit by said Corona. That was amazing. You know, but it's like, kind of interesting to see like the, the heroes that people are focusing, you know, this Void is like, I'm going to Chrono the Morphling. <laughs> no matter what happens, no matter who's in it. Uh, very very back and forth fights like that. More swings and roundabouts than a kid's playground in this game, honestly. True. Uh, 10 kids occupy the same swing. Falling off, bumping their knees. Following the ball around the pitch. They're trying to walk it in. Ah, walking it in, yeah. But, Classic. You know, nip, I have part of the bus, to be fair. They are really. <laughs> Spider Pig's going ultra, uh, ultra attacking in the last five to ten minutes. Not really paying out, but. Then, oh, mate, I, I don't know. I'm kind of like a little bit speechless at. Spider Pig's able to get a rax off that. <laughs> like. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I'm honestly... Uh, all right, all right, sure. But especially, like, we felt the flow of the game kind of ebbing away from Spider Pigs and towards NIP, right? With the burst yep. damage they've got, the team fights that were kind of, you know, not maybe not going their way, but it was a bit of a, a, bit of a lapse in Spider Pig's strength as they tried to come high ground as NIP up into this Radiant Triangle, but it feels like it's been spotted. They know what's going on. Spider Pigs all retreat away. That was really nice, though, if you uh, look towards no the Sentry setup that LeBron had. It allowed for them to understand like is any smoke vision going to be placed and they they were positioned very defensively so if it was a ward to be placed they can instantly dis, uh, disengage through so, yeah just nice defensive holes from spider pigs and we now need to see how they play into their own this look of aggression they're smoking up right now they're playing into their own vision that they have in the uh raid uh, the dire jungle this could be oh, the poor play lena. they need all right sorry lena Hero dead Again, the first target to be gone on. NIP still want to fight around this, and it's a buyback from Lena coming in. Void has popped his BKB pretty early on, and a Doom onto Noob means the Void Spirit's out of the fight completely. They blow up DNZ as the multi E blades him, but the RP catches to the Doom, the swap back, the Venge saves the Doom. The Chrono does land onto both inside, though, as Sableye with Supreme, the Monkey and the Doom going wild onto LeBron. Mitch is skirting out on the edges of the fight, but this faceless Void is really sticking on his targets, getting the damage in, and he'll find the Vengeful Spirit in a second here now, but a good Light Strike Array takes down Noob, and now the Faceless Void is all alone. NIP, they have really struggled to get into this position, but they're doing it. Chasing down the Void, time dilation to slow, but they've got the Boundless Strike, any more stuns to catch him. Infernal Blade coming, but he time walks away, but then it's the Yule's era, closes the gap, Light Strike Array is there, and OKC is the one to take the monster kill streak away from a thug, and Charlie now needs a pause just to calm down, and I, honestly, I can feel those FPS drops as well. He's just there, uh, just DMing. Okay, shit. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> huh? You're standing in for this one. You game. punk. And you have the audacity. The audacity. Still my void kill. No, but yeah. Um, spider pigs. They try to go on the aggression. On the uh, aggression there, but just again, it's a bit underwhelming, right? The way in which they enter that engagement, they're smoked up. They go for the lane. That's great, but they have a chrono. Where's the damage? We had that venge swap. Great save. Taking away that two-man chrono on the doom and the morphling. And it's that kind of the hastiness, that desire for Void just to throw, blow, like throw everything he has straight away. It just feels like they're not connecting cleanly. And then you have Noob on the Void Spirit. He gets instantly doomed up. He dies from Aero and the Doom combo. He then buys back, restarts the fight, and just dies again. Like we're not seeing that clean execution of spell. And for, for NIP, they're having this really good use of enabling each other. We have the Doom onto the Void Spirit. Aero helps him out. We have the Morphling Chrono. The, uh, the Venge is helping him out. The Monkey King's then stuck by himself, but then gets Glimmer Cape. Like, Nip are playing really good defensive Dota to enable each other. And it does also help the Spider Pigs are being a very kind of hasty with their plays, but Nip are very much in the driving seat now because of the lack of damage Spider Pigs are presenting in the. And because they've just wiped the enemy team, they get a freebie Roshan, Aegis and Cheese. And Morphling has like five grand in his pockets right now. This is, this is a huge Morphling, 22k net worth. He's, you know, overtaken this faceless void. And he's going to be scaling incredibly well. Do you, do you reckon it is just Satanic here, or...? 
Well, what I'll are you doing for Charlie? Oh, oh, it does pretty well against uh, the Void. Tank through the uh, Chrono, then such middle tower heal up after. Oh, my Radiant's top through. tower is under attack. It's Unless you're going to go to tier two left top. field and go like... Butt Rapier. Play. Sure, yeah, you should have words right out my mouth. Attack. Yeah, Rapier, let's go. Radiant's top <laughs> tower has shattered. Yeah, easy Roche, easy tier two top. And all of the waves converging towards Radiant base. But then we get into this, you know, we've had all these fights going into the Dire base. The Dire defending really well. We see the strength of NIP's high ground defense and the ability to, you know, swap into War Stomp. The Blink initiation from Sable Light. Supreme's Monkey Kong with the Wukongs to zone people away. And then you think, how does, uh, how, how do we, how do we get up onto Radiant high ground? Yeah, against RP, really against really Chrono. Looking, like, really hang on a second. Yeah, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Oh. Right, this is We've just not of... had that situation yet. No, we haven't. That is very true. And I think for Spider Pigs, that might be their kind of their fallback plan, right? Which is okay. We have made some some errors, lads. But realistically, if we connect our spells, we might be able to do just enough damage to to eat through. But again, I feel like you're now playing the game of dodge the morphling. Oh, they go. Okay, nice. He does go for the butterfly and morphling, and then satanic. The key reason why Charlie goes for the butterfly here. Is he clicks on the void and goes, yeah, he, 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 no way he has an MKB gold lined up. So another big window for Charlie to be unkillable. Where's Very the nice. damage now from spider pigs? That's my big concern. You have this utility void spirit. He has yours, Ags at minute 37, nowhere near a BKB. Like his item progression is now non-existent. It is now four lads plus a void. It's not what you want to be in against the doom monkey morph. Like the triple core from Nick. Yeah, one of those cores now has a gem. Doom dewarding everything. D and Z is going to get caught so out here. As they say. That he deward battle. He is dead for one minute. And three seconds. Don't forget the change. My apologies. It's fine, don't worry. And he's no, you know, he's not got buyback, does he? He doesn't, mate. No, he is. He's out there. Oh, the cheeky skewer back. They do catch Morphling. He manters gets. Well, at least a turnaround potential here. He's pretty low, but an RP there. Counteracted by Laguna Blade, and the Yule's up onto the Faceless Void, but the Light Strike Array stops him in his tracks. They've got the Doom on him. All Void's in trouble. Chase in the Supreme arriving. The Monkey King just jumped across. He's dead for a minute and a half. They forced them all back into their fountain. Spider Pigs are just done for. I was wondering how LIP push high ground, and apparently that's it. They go in and blow people up. Confidence in Supreme. Even killing new Curry. I don't know what. This is our base now. The pace of is, that, is that game? Oh, yeah, kind of. They're gonna go tier fours. I don't know why I'm acting as if it, it isn't. It, it is. Like your void is dead, and he is all your damage right now. Charlie is unkillable with his Aegis. He might. Oh, swap oh, the, the tower. Let me keep. Oh, he still gets him. They blow up Noob though, and now he's gone for 74 seconds. Charlie and Supreme still whacking away at towers, but a soul bind in. We go with Mitch. They heal back up Supreme, and he turns the battle but the Morphling's dropping low, Aegis gone. The swap back does save the Monkey King for now. And it's okay, see, uh, frontlining with Aero there, and Morphling's still sticking on those tier fours. They buy back Doom, and they want to commit for this because he buys travels. These blood rides, they are annoying. Obnoxious Bloodseeker trying to do his best to hold on to Throne. And they'll skewer the Morphling back into Fountain. LeBron's got the Morphling. Sans stop at the E Blades and Waveforms back to safety. And now the War Storm. Sable Light catches two. They've got stuns for days. Magic Missiles there. And Mitch, no more blood rides for you. Yeah, he's got buyback. Well, I don't think it matters anymore. The Throne's dead. Game one goes NIP. I won't lie, that was a, a roller coaster of a game in which we had the early aggression from Spider Pigs looking good couple fatal errors around Roshan kind of gave Nip entry back into the game and then just the the lack of clean execution from Spider Pigs and also the the 